for the second one on the worksheet. Um, reading it over. Uh, current in a river is blah relative to the ground. Toy boat is moving at blah relative to the water. If we want to know the velocity of the boat relative to the ground, um, again, we just have to add them. Uh, subscript equation wise, you don't have to do the equation, but if this helps, we're curious about the boat relative to the ground. So the velocity of B for boat relative to ground is equal to the velocity of the boat relative to the water plus the velocity of the water relative to the ground. So really we just have to take our four on the 45 degree angle, that's the boat relative to the water, and to that add the water relative to the ground, which is the three number. So it's just another vector addition, but again, it's a little bit weird to get that internal angle. I'm gonna exaggerate the size of them to help see it. I'm gonna draw the four first. So the four is north 45 east. So from a reference line that's pointing straight north, the four goes on a nice 45 degree angle. So let's say that's the four, and the 45 fits in here. Then it says, the ne then the next vector I need to add is the three, that's also on a 45 degree angle, just this time it's to the west. So here's my reference line, north, 45 to the west of that. I'm gonna exaggerate it by drawing it shorter. And that's that vector. The length of it is three, and this angle up here is 45. The vector sum is the connection from the very, very start to the very, very end. That's this line. I want to know what that is, and I need to know the angle. Ideally, I want the angle away from straight north, so that's this angle is what I'd like to find. I'm going to call that x. Again, the issue with this one is we don't know an interior angle. I'm going to get rid of some of this to help see it. I want to get rid of the green and get rid of that x for now. To get an interior angle, we need to focus on those 45s. If I extend this red north-south reference line down a little bit, I've got a Z pattern, and the 45 here is twinned with the 45 there. That should be enough to get me an interior angle. If this bottom angle is 45 and this top part is 45, they need to add up to 180. So nice triangle, this ends up being 90. 45 plus 45, add up to 90, I need another 90 to make the 180. That means that my triangle, when I add the green line back, is actually a right angle triangle. Not only that, I don't even need, need to do Pythagorean theorem, I recognize it, it's a three, four, five triangle. That tells me the length of it, so now I know that the velocity of the boat relative to the ground, the number part, is going to be 5. Its unit's going to be meters per second. I just need to do a little bit of work to find the angle. Go back to your 3, 4, 5 triangle. See if you can figure out... I'll stick with green. See if you can figure out this angle down here. Let's say that angle works out to be exactly 30 degrees. If this were to be 30 degrees, what I'm calling x, if it's 30 degrees, that means we're 30 degrees away from the 45. That means this angle that I need is going to be, if I use letters, 45 minus x. So my direction that's going to go in the square brackets is going to be north, whatever 45 minus x is, angled towards the east. That's some help for the second one.